Hey, what's up everyone? Dragon Roy is here once again with another review from uh, for the SH figures. Cooler. So who's Cooler? Basically he's the older brother of Frieza. And Cooler was my first favorite Dragon Ball Z character. So basically uh Cooler first appeared in the movie Cooler's Revenge. So that's the introduction of his character to the anime. And also that's my very first Dragon Ball Z animation. So basically that's how I was introduced to the Dragon Ball franchise. And he became my first favorite character. My first favorite villain before I even knew about Frieza. Yep. So uh, he comes with a brown shipper box because he's a P. Bandai exclusive figure, which we always get. Most of the releases uh, these days are P. Bandai exclusives. Let's go ahead and open him up. So let's fast forward. <laughs> and here is the actual box. As you can see, he looks really, really good. And I'm so glad I finally have this figure in my hand. Just look at those skulls. And of course, uh, we get those amazing 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 shots in the box the left the back some poses that you can do with the figure and of course the stickers that comes with authentic figures like this so all those hologram stickers are there let's go ahead and take him out of the box with my little handy dandies exacto knife so here is the figure himself but still inside his transparent casing we get a fair amount of accessories including his tail one pair of extra feet and uh we also have one, two, three, four, five, six extra hands that you can use in one extra face plate that you can swap him with without his mask on. And here he is out of the box. I really like the details. Look at those cult. The figure is really beautiful in my hand. I can't believe I finally have this figure and I am thanking Tamashi Nations for releasing this as an actual figure because I have the Dragon Stars and although it was a good placeholder for a while, it looks nothing like this figure. It looks really good. Just look at those details from the foot. Looks really good. Everything is on point. Even the crystals, they look like real crystals and you can uh, move around the tail but uh, I haven't inserted it really deep so it might pop off on this video Wank, like that <laughs> but I'm gonna do that later so we can push it really flushed into the pack slot Let's go ahead and check the articulation from the head You can look down, you can look up side to side It's pointy at the back These shoulder pads, these pads but yeah, you can move He also has... Um, what's this? Shit, I forgot. Yeah, so that's a uh, butterfly joint on the shoulder. Yeah, that's called the butterfly joint. And moving down to the biceps, he's got some bicep swivel and of course double jointed elbows and the standard wrist bag that can rotate and hinge up and down. Alright, both sides are good. He's got this front up crunch. <laughs> front up crunch is there, back up crunch. So he can up crunch just like so. He can bend backwards like this. It's not showing a gap, but it's kind of deep within his armor. But that's not an issue, so his legs can race just like so, just be careful not to scratch the finish of the figure because it's kind of uh, shaded but uh, when moving the legs to the back, his, the tip of his ass is hindering but he can split just like so, matter if it can go even further but I don't want to break my figure so that's just the only thing I'm gonna do his knees can bend really good because it's a double jointed knee his foot can hinge and rotate easily with no issues so that's it for the articulation, what else is it? oh, I'm gonna rate the articulation and... 8 out of 10 because his ass, his ass, his arse. So the ass is blocking the legs when moving it backwards. Uh, that, that's the only issue for me. Everything else is really good. So let's try swapping. Swapping the, 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 the foot, the feet. So the feet, yes, you can swap the feet because he's got extra feet accessories. So it means he can swap the feet. He also got the head accessory. It's not basically a face plate because it's a head with his mask off. So he's, we got the default face with his mask on and his face without mask and these are the extra hands that you can use with the figure with all of those different poses that you want until you you're satisfied so this is the extra foot fit accessory foot since i'm only showing one the sculpt is really good so this is like his claw foot grabbing goku and this is his extra head without the mask and his claw hands so we got two of this we also got two of this blast hands we also have two of this Pointy fingers to blast, to, to blast everything. <laughs> and this is his tail. We, we got really great scope details going on with the tail. The tip is sharp, so be careful with that. But it's kind of bendy, so it's kind of soft. Just like his uh, head, the pointy thingy on his head are also flexible. So uh, here is the head without the mask. So it's him, his beautiful face showing his menacing smile. And yeah, so you just take off that uh, top of the head, that spiky top and swap the head so you just put it back but uh, just be careful because sometimes it easily falls off so i might put some blue tack 
because uh, this uh, purple glass thingy can easily be scratched because it's, it's like um it's like a uh, car finish so it's shiny and reflective just like a glass so i tried to swap the uh, feet but it's hard to insert the peg on the feet accessories maybe it needs a little bit of heating so i might leave it in hot water but i'm not gonna do that in this video but yeah that's the only solution if uh just in case you encounter something like this you'll need to dip it to some hot water but the default feet can easily be uh put back easily uh, it's just uh that the extra feet has a narrower peg hole and of course uh i need to compare him with the dragon star cooler so here he is side by side with my dragon star cooler that i'm gonna be selling soon after this video and uh, here he is side by side with of course our man son goku with that ultra instinct body so let's make him look up what cooler we'll look down to him just like so i think cooler uh maybe needs to be a little bit bigger compared to what we have i think it's not that bad compared to the dragon stars cooler this is way way better figure i think um this is a must if you're really uh a dragon ball z fan because cooler is one of the most iconic non-canon non-canon villain i think he begs to be in the canon story i'm not sure how uh, toriyama is going to do that but he must be so i hope you like this review so here are some photos that i have taken with the figure and my coolers revenge diorama if you remember uh, i have shown this diorama before using the dragon stars cooler and now i have replaced him with my sh figuarts cooler and he looks really good i tried to replicate the uh, frame with him going up to goku in this uh, part of the movie so this was an actual scene from the coolers revenge dragon ball z movie animation so i hope you are all still safe and staying safe <laughs> i hope you like this video give it a like thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and please subscribe if you'd like me to make more of this if not cooler is gonna visit you tomorrow <laughs> that is all goodbye stay safe wear your masks bye for now don't forget to subscribe please It's over! <laughs>